our meditation for today is the Lord takes delight in you. So we're just going to sit with that phrase for a minute. The Lord takes delight in you. I don't know what that means for you this morning. Maybe you just need to hear that affirmation. He delights in you, in the person you are, the person he made you to be. Or maybe you just need to remind yourself when thinking about that thing that is causing you struggle, that thing that you don't feel quite good enough at. He delights in you. Now we're just going to use the first few lines of Psalm 103 as our structure for prayer this morning. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. It's going to take a minute to bless his name now. You might like to think of a name of God, an image or a characteristic that reminds you of who God is and just be thankful for that. And if you wanna share that image or name, just say it out loud, then please feel free to do so. Thank you, you're our rock and redeemer. You're Emmanuel, God with us. A gardener tending and growing us. Always faithful. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. You're always with us and never leave us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Just pause here just to thank him for his many blessings and benefits in our lives. It can be anything from your warm cup of tea to his amazing forgiveness. But if you'd like to just choose one thing that you'd like to say thank you for this morning. And again, if you want to share that out loud, that would be great. But if you want to keep quiet, that's fine too. Thank you, Lord, for the beauty of your creation. Thank you, Lord, for this moment. Mm. Yes, thank you for breath in our bodies for this day. Thank you for a good night's sleep. Thank you for this community of believers. Thank you for your steadfast love that never ceases. He forgives all our sins. So we just to take a moment just to sit and receive his forgiveness this morning knowing that we can start fresh every day, that we're forgiven because of the cross and resurrection. So we don't need to enter this day with any guilt or any shame. We just come to him in the quiet and receive his forgiveness now. He heals all our diseases. So we bring ourselves, body, mind, spirit, and soul, and we bring our friends and family. 
If you'd like to speak out the name of someone who's on your heart this morning, just lift them into this space before God, then please feel free to do so. Lydia. Debbie. Jackie. David and Rhiannon. Me. George. Wynne and Ron. Jenny. He redeems our lives from the pit. And the pit can be any hopeless situation. So we just take a moment to name places and situations around the world that need God's redemptive touch, that need his rescuing this morning. We pray for Syria. Pray for Nigeria. Armenia and Azerbaijan. Ethiopia. Turkey. US. Bertha Tidville. He crowns us with love and compassion. So just as we begin to draw this prayer time to an end, we just sit quietly and just receive his love for us this morning and be filled with his compassion for others. Amen.